Hi Gemini, this is Jackie Tomlin. This is your general reading. This is for the week of October 4th, 2021. Thank you guys for stopping by. If you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. Okay guys, uh, energy this week looks really good. If you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com or find the information below this video. What you're looking forward to is you're looking forward to moving forward and you're leaving like a past emotional upset behind and moving away from that energy or something there that you're walking away from. Some of you are planning trips out of state. Um, there's also an unexpected outing, a celebration, maybe a dinner out, something like that. Uh, there's new money coming in, so stop beating yourself up in regards to finances. Some of you may have splurged a little heavily. Good news arrives when you least expect it. It is a time frame of endings, closures, rebirths, and new beginnings. And um, very high drive for success as well as you're very strong in love for this week. So let's say this is your week of October 4th, 2021. And your first card up, you have justice. Justice is coming in in your favor. This could be court cases. This could be legal decisions, the signing of a contract, large lease and or purchase, but it is going in your favor. Six of Swords comes in with leaving the troubled waters heading off into the calm. And for some of you, like I said, it could be travel. I'm thinking about water, like visiting a river, lake or ocean. Okay. Three of Pentacles. If you guys are juggling a little bit financially or struggling a little bit financially, know that new money is coming in. It may not be this week of the 4th that you will get news that that money is coming. On the hangman, we have that you're feeling stuck. You feel like you're not moving forwards or backwards or no movement. That is not the case at all. Actually, what it is asking you to do is to be still. And in the time frame that you're still, the clarity that you need actually comes into you. Center of your reading, you have the Hierophant. Hierophant says, keep your thoughts and energy positive. You have the ability to draw into you right now, between now and the 18th of October, to happen what you want to see happen, okay? And we have the Ten of Swords. This is where I'm talking about someone has done you wrong. You're walking away from that energy. You're turning your back. You're closing that chapter. You're moving forward. Queen of Swords coming in. A Virgo may resonate with some of you. Uh, this is someone with a sharp tongue. Someone who may get a little catty with you. I don't see a confrontation, but you do need to know it's present. And there it is. The Death Card Energy. Endings, closures, rebirths, new beginnings. One door closes. One door opens. It all happens at one time. It's going to be emotional. And with that, we have the King of Cups. And the King of Cups comes in unexpected offer of love this is kind of like the king of love and for some of you a cancer may or may not resonate okay so gemini looks like a pretty exciting week definitely a week of manifestation definitely a week to keep things positive as you walk away from something that no longer serves a purpose so let's uh go a little bit further with these messages starting on top of that justice card what do I have here for my Geminis? You have Major Arcana of Strength. Strength to get you through no matter what. That's going to override your entire week. On that Six of Swords, we have Date Night. There it is. Happy and in love. Intense and in love. Gathering of two people. Two of, uh, Three of Pentacles comes with Wish Fulfillment. In regards to finances, there will be wish fulfillment. Uh, this is total happiness and total contentment. On the hangman energy, there is the devil. There is someone in your circle that is a little bit shady. You need to keep your eyes on. And for those of you in your love life, particularly my singles, this indicates passion. It applies to my couples too, but really speaking to my singles here. And on the Herophon energy, there it is, the moon. It's all about divine timing. Uh, if you want to know more about manifestation during retro, please go back and visit last week's weekly check-in. And I talked to it right there at the beginning of the video. And the Ten of Swords, there is the Knight of Wands. This is movement on the home front. Someone's moving in, someone's moving out. Could be heavy renovations, but you know what, Gemini? Someone's moving. Okay? Queen of Swords energy comes in with the High Priestess. Guys, this is you. 
And what does this say? It says you're grounded, you're centered, you're intuitive, you know what's to come. You need to tap in and trust where you're being led and you need to trust your intuition. Now, let me say this, this also indicates any delays that occur this week of October 4th, as frustrating as it may be, are only to your favor. On that death card energy, you've got the five of wands. What can I say? It is retro. It is life. Not everything's so perfect. There are still some challenges ahead. For some of you, this is at work. For some of you, it's in the home life or in the personal life. And please recognize it's a general reading. So it's hard for me to kind of narrow that down. On the king of cups, we have the seven of swords coming in as a warning. With this unexpected offer of love, this is someone, I'm not going to say it's lies and deceit, because it's generally what that indicate, indicates. This tells me someone is purposely not telling you everything. Someone's withholding something, okay? Center of the reading bonus, love it. What radiates throughout is the sun. The sun shines brightly in all that you do and brings in new opportunities. Gemini, I think you have an awesome week ahead. Overall, it's endings and new beginnings. A lot of emotions, but it's going to be a good week. Thank you guys for watching. JackieTomlin.com for psychic readings, and I'll see you soon. Bye.